know, as a Chinese auto market, the biggest in the world matures, it's growing faster every day. But one of the areas that's still lacking is the art and science of car design. In fact, Chinese automakers have no problems ripping off existing Western automaker look and feel. Here's a small sample of what I'm talking about. Imported luxury SUVs are a hot commodity in China, but with import duties and whatnot, they tend to be a bit, you know, expensive. So although you may think you're looking at a famous German SUV, well, you'd be mistaken, my friends. From the same country that brought you fake Gucci handbags and Rolex watches comes a Chinese design and built Haval H7, a shameless knockoff of this, the real Volkswagen Touareg. Not that anyone would actually notice. Remember when General Motors was trying to sell off its Hummer brand a few years ago? And there was some interest from some Chinese automakers? Well, you have to hand it to the folks at China's Dongfang Motors. They didn't actually spend the money and buy the rights to build Hummers. Instead, they simply went to their Xerox machines and copied this, the original Hummer. Oh, and Dongfang didn't just stop with knocking off Hummers. This is the Dongfang Fengshen, a concept SUV that looks just like a certain Toyota SUV we know. Hint, hint. Quincense? Oh, I'm sure it is. Admittedly, I cut the Chinese design industry a bit of slack. It's relatively immature. But it's hard to explain this, the BAIC C90L. It's got a front end that looks just like a Mercedes and a back end like a Bentley. So it's hard to believe the C90L was actually designed by sometimes Ferrari designer Leonardo Fiorenti. Well, nice try, but no, sorry. Although it's one of the better knockoffs from this year's show, this is the Brilliance V5, not this, BMW's X1. But here's the interesting pit. BMW and Brilliance actually work together in China and Brilliance will start building the real, honest to goodness X1 here for the Chinese market soon. Crazy, huh? Now, my last Chinese copycat car, the Leafan 320, was at the last Beijing show I attended. Like then, this is a terribly done ripoff of the Mini Cooper with oddball proportions and rough hewn details. Well, Leafan showed up again this year, but with a redesigned 320 this time mimicking the head and taillight design from the more recent Mini Countryman. I mean, why not, right? For the Toronto Star and Wheels.ca at the 2012 Beijing Auto Show, I'm John LeBlanc.